everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here with me. My name is Kaylee and today is really fun. We are doing our dating series and I have my friend Philip Timoshenko. I'm honored to be here. So I'm super excited. I'm sorry grandma we're not dating. He's just a good friend. Yes. We, we met at church, right. um, a young adults ministry and he just always has such great advice for me, and um, I feel like I have good advice for you too. Right, I was just about to say likewise. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you subscribe to this journey and be sure to like this video. We are gonna be talking about five things that singles should do while they're preparing to be in a relationship. So even if you are already in a relationship, it's okay, these are things you can work on too. So um, what is number one? Well, number one, I think we agree that relationship with God is the number one most important thing that any man or woman could focus on because everything is going to stem from that. Yeah. Because in the beginning, God made just one. It was, and he was in God's presence. And when that man called Adam had that relationship with God, had his presence, was working in God's garden and that's when God said, hey, a man like this needs a woman. Yeah. He needs a helper because a man with vision, a man with purpose, a man who is seeking God and in his presence needs someone to help him fulfill that. And yeah. I think that was God's idea, not ours. Yeah. It's God's idea. So Because as a single, like this is your last time to just be your relationship with just you and God. Right. And so um, because then once you get married, it's God, your spouse. Um, then God, your spouse, your kids. So this is like your last time to really have that intimate relationship with him. And yeah, it's... Right. Mm -hmm. And I have a personal experience because of my relationship with God, when everything else in my life, when the other categories that we're going to talk about fall apart, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You can stand strong. You can yeah. stand stable. You can be, you know, consistent. You can, you don't have to fall apart when everything in life falls apart because... Yeah. Your relationship with God is sturdy, and I think that's what people are looking for, you know, in yeah, a relationship. So. Definitely. Um, all right. Yeah. So number two, finances. So I understand there's bad debt, there's good debt, um, but to me personally, like when I hear like a guy has like sixty, eighty thousand dollars worth of debt. I low-key freak out. I'm like, oh my gosh, because if the relationship would pursue into marriage, like I would have to take on that debt. And um, personally, I don't have any debt. I've worked Thanks. really hard to become debt-free. Um, so yeah, finances is very important. As a single, you know, sometimes you have the opportunity to work extra jobs. You... Um, I don't know, what else can you do to help with your finances? Well, finances, yeah, that's definitely something that would take, I mean, we're all, we all want to be better with our finances. Yeah. You know, we need to be aggressive with that. And Jesus talks a lot about finances. So it's definitely something we need to talk about, especially in relationships. And, but our Bible says that our only debt should be uh, the debt to love one another. Yeah. So we need to work on freeing ourselves from debt, if at all possible. But a couple needs to really openly discuss that probably early on I mean I know I have in the past and God has also given me the grace to not be in debt I've worked very hard on that as well awesome. um, outside of my business but that is business debt and we can get a whole topic yeah, about totally that different. we don't need to get yeah. in that but uh, yeah debt is huge and it's something that obviously we can't all have perfect situation circumstances but a couple needs to talk about that and you need to deal with that right now in your season of singleness what you can do to I uh, guess lessen that load for the future. Yeah, and I, and we're not saying like if you are in debt that you right. can't become get course, into a relationship or anything yeah. like that. It's just something as a single, it's easier to get done and pay off and just there doesn't there's not as much conflict going yeah. forward in a relationship. I mean personally I'm not in a Absolutely. relationship, but Absolutely. I've heard friends talk about like how that is um a struggle in their marriage at times. So Yeah, it has, happens to be unfortunately one of the top reasons for divorce is finances. So yeah. All right. Yeah. So number 3. What do you got? Uh I guess relationship with friends. Mm -hmm. So relationship with friends is vital. Uh, this is a time that you are actually discovering who you are. 
Um, Miles Monroe says the most important uh, season in your life is your singleness. Um, that marriage is two single people getting together. So you have to work on your singleness more than you have to work on, you know, any other relationship. Discover who you are, and that you can really friends can really help yeah. you do that. And good friends, Bible is clear that you know who you surround yourself with is who you become. Yeah, and that's just who you will be in five years. So be very careful. Spend that time with friends. Discover who you are, especially in Christ. And let the people around you mold you in a healthy, positive way for the future. Yeah, so. because as a single, you are able to do more with friends. You're able to yeah, get together for dinners and coffee and hang out more than you are when you're in a relationship. So I right. think um, building that foundation of friendship um, while you're single you're going to have those friendships later in life when you do get into that dating and marriage season. And so right. you'll, you'll have those friendships. Right. So with friendships, we're going to go on to travel and have fun. Like yeah. you're single. Don't look at it as a negative. Like you can have fun. You don't need another person to complete you. I know Absolutely. so many people that say they won't travel or go anywhere or do a certain thing because they are wanting to do that with their significant other. And I feel like that holds you back from like doing so much. So you're single, have fun, travel, Absolutely. go do things. Absolutely. My friends have told me they are so jealous that I can just pick up and leave and go whenever I want. And, um, cause you can't always do that when you're right. like in a relationship, you have to check with somebody. And so, yeah, singleness is such a gift and we, we have, I feel like we have the wrong mindset towards it. Like it's a curse, yeah. but that's because I believe that's just our culture is really shown that only in marriage and relationships could be set, truly satisfied. But personally speaking, you know, and I, my singleness, uh, I've traveled and I met so much people because of my travel and it's been yeah. such an amazing experience. And I've met past girlfriends because of travel. And it's connected me with so much more people and opened my mind. And um, I don't regret it for one second, you know. And yeah. it definitely helps you see and value the life and the opportunities that we have as single people in the season given to us by God. Yeah. No. So, that's good. Yeah. Um, our last one is um, praying for your future spouse. And we had gotten coffee yeah. um, last Christmas and just was talking about, do you pray for yeah. your future spouse? Yeah. Which kind of sounds weird. Like yeah. you're praying for somebody that you don't even know, you haven't even met yet maybe. Right. And so do you want to talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we talked about we need to start praying about it and not only praying, what a lot of people are scared of is fasting mm -hmm. for that because it's going to be the second most important decision that we make in our lives. Obviously, first being choosing Jesus, you know, and um, second is going to be choosing our spouse. And this is such an important thing that we need to get to a place of absolute humility, praying mm -hmm. about it, fasting about it every day, constantly. I mean, we know mm -hmm. that it's one of the biggest categories or determine determinators of your overall happiness is going to be the person you marry the person that you decide to do life with for the rest of your life mm -hmm. and it's not a little simple thing and it's a very serious yeah very serious thing and our prayer life needs to i guess reflect that reflect that how serious yeah it is. because i mean once you're in that relationship with them mm -hmm. and once you're in marriage you're going to be praying together so why not already like set that foundation of like having the prayer for them. And, um, yeah. I mean, I really hope my future spouse is praying for me because right. I, I know there's been times which probably sounds weird and hopefully doesn't like freak anybody out, but I felt on my heart to pray specifically about something that maybe my future spouse was going through. And so I'm kind of hoping that the prayers that I'm praying, even though I don't know who he is and maybe haven't even met him, that they're helping him in decisions or things that he's Absolutely. going through. And so that's why it is so important to be praying for your future spouse as a single. It's something my parents have told me to do ever since I was a little girl. So Absolutely. And maybe these five things that we talk about seem so obvious to some of us, but yeah. maybe not so obvious to others. And regardless, it's great reminders because... Yeah. Uh, this journey that we're going on called life is uh, a difficult journey and we need other believers to always remind us what we should be doing and 
no matter where what walk of life we're coming from we can always learn from one another yeah. and each other's experiences no matter what season we're in so i think it's a beautiful thing yeah. and we need to remember that you know god first and though we say that it may sound cliche but everything stems from the healthy relationship that we have with god yeah because if we're healthy within our relationship with god then we can almost face almost every difficulty trial That's so true so yeah well, good. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Yeah. Philip is always bringing Absolutely. great information. And Likewise. He's, a, he's always preaching yeah. at me, which I love. <laughs> but um, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Comment. We want to know what you think. And like this video if you want Philip to come back for another yeah. video and get his knowledge and his input. And I am so thankful that you were here with us and we will, well not you, but yeah. I will see you next yeah. Friday.